In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a website called Timer Tab as a simple classroom timer. It's great for teachers, it's great for people who conduct seminars and other professional development opportunities, and it's totally free. It's just available on the website at timertab.com. When you get to Timer Tab, immediately the stopwatch starts counting. So this is great if you want to just time how long it takes someone to do something. Okay, and if you want, you can pause it, you can resume it, you can start the stopwatch over again. Now, down at the bottom of the stopwatch section of the website, you'll see if you put your mouse down there on the gear, it gives you some options. For one, you could add it to Chrome if you're using Google Chrome, which I am. When you do that, it adds it basically as an app. So I could click Add App and make it part of my browser. Now, that's especially useful if you use Chromebooks. So for those Chromebook users out there, especially if you're a teacher or an instructor, that's a really great idea. Next up, there's some options like you can set up a YouTube alarm, you can have a background image. For example, I could go to Google Image Search and I could find an image to view and then to copy the URL to. And then back here in Timer tab, I could go down and paste that in. And it gave me a warning because my image was too big. So I can go back and let's try it again, but just using the thumbnail. So copy image address and let's try it again. And now look, I've got a nice background image behind my timer. If you don't like that, which it's a little busy for me, you can just go in and delete that out. You can also name this if you'd like. I could name this stopwatch relay race. And by doing that, it uh, puts the title up here at the top. Okay, now there's also options for a countdown and also an alarm clock. So let's look at both of those. For teachers, I think this is the most important, the countdown. As teachers, I think most teachers use small groups from time to time or use centers or stations. And then we want our students to come back to whole class instruction at some point. Well, for me, that's always kind of a hard transition, transitioning back from small groups to whole group. So this is something that helps me out tremendously. I can go in there and say, all right, I would like a five minute timer. Click start countdown and I can say to my students, okay, you have five minutes to finish up what you're doing and be back in your assigned seats and then we'll continue from there. Now, again, down here on the gear, if I put my mouse there, it gives me those same options that I showed before with the stopwatch, but this time I wanna put in the YouTube alarm. And for this, I'm just gonna go to YouTube and find a song and it works best with songs. All right, so here's a song that I could use, and it makes sense, I think, with a countdown timer. So I'm just gonna go up to the top and copy the URL, and I'll pause that, and then I'll go back in here, and I'll go down to the gear, click where it says YouTube Alarm, and replace what's already there with my own. So now, when this timer gets down to zero, okay, I'm gonna change this to zero minutes and three seconds, start countdown. When it reaches zero, then my music from YouTube should start playing. Hopefully the students hear this and realize, oh, this is the final countdown. I need to get back to my assigned seat. So I think it's a lot of fun to use Timer Tab. It's a great little tool, completely free. It's available anytime you're on the internet. Just go to timertab.com. There's also an alarm clock so that you can just set a time that you want the alarm to go off. Uh, but I really think that most teachers will use it for the stopwatch and for the countdown timer. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy using Timer Tab. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And look for a new video at least every Monday.